I love it. Well, another very famous and very talented Brit, Adele, recently asked Spotify to take away the automatic shuffle button for albums. Not only did they apply it to her newest album, but they also made it a universal for all albums now. I want to know, what are your thoughts on the shuffle button on Spotify? I mean, it's a joke. Mm. (laughs) Like, it should never have been a thing. I mean, we work with blood, sweat and tears to make bodies of work of every genre, every artist. A body of work is not an easy thing to make. It also costs, you know, it costs time, it costs money, it costs everything. And then to be dismissed by a button, something as simple as a button. So you can go, hey, just listen to whatever song. It's disrespectful. And actually what she's done is made bodies of work respectful again. I think, or or demand more respect. And I think that's really important. But also um, the way that music is consumed, you know, people have a shorter attention span and it's really important that bodies of work demand that respect and and have time. Yeah. Can I just say, I can literally listen to you talk all day. (laughs) (laughs) It's literally like while you're speaking, because not everybody with a British accent is has a beautiful British accent, but <laughs> is soothing. I'm just like, okay, that's <laughs> why she's the superstar, Tom. Oh <laughs> I could look at Romeo's backdrop all day. And- <laughs> 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 By the end of the day, I'd feel expensive. <laughs> sure, but I'm excited to get into your music, and the name of your debut album is Skin. So, can you explain why you named it that? So initially I uh, went through one of my dad's boxes once and found a poem that he wrote for his first wife called Skin. And I was like, wow, like the word just sat with me different from that poem. But then when it was coming to naming my album, I was really interested in how skin scientifically and biologically is the strongest part of our bodies or one of the strongest parts of our bodies, but socially and externally is used against us on a day-to-day basis. And that's not only race, but it's your identity. It's who you are. Someone can find something about your personality or what you look like or what you sound like and make assumptions. And so I found that like juxtaposition between strength and weakness, very like symbolic. And it's basically what I play around with throughout my whole album lyrically. That's amazing. Wow, okay, I'm upset. I'm upset. Look, Sorry, Romeo. Do you have- everybody. <laughs> at the midst and Fox Soul want to give you a huge congratulations because your song, When You Were Mine, was just nominated for BBC Radio One's hottest record of the year for 2021. How does that feel? It feels great. I mean, I love the song. So I'm glad that, you know, it's like when you love your child and you know that they're dating someone good. It just makes me happy. Yes. I like the way she thinks. What I see. (laughs) So I've heard that you've been writing songs since you were 12. And even for me being an artist, I feel like the writing process can be a little, you know, difficult. So I would like to know what advice would you give someone to someone who wants to write their own song? Write as many bad songs as possible. I would say I feel like it's really easy to judge yourself during the process, but there's a reason why it's a process. I think sometimes I write, 10 20 songs that will never see the light of day until I write one that I'm like okay this is special you know you have to be your own conveyor belt and the only way that you can experiment and find your sound and take position in who you are as an artist is if you look for it and you're not going to just sit down and write I hate you by scissor in one go (laughs) you know what I mean like think about you know I love scissor so much she's one of my favorite artists and I often think because she's such a talented songwriter, I wonder how many songs it took to get to the Love Galores, the I Hate Yous, the Supermodels, you know? And I think that's probably the best advice I can give. I'm basically giving myself that advice while we're <laughs> Hey, Jamie, before you take us the break, Jamie, Joy, I need you to go on your phone, go on your Instagram, type my name in there, Romeo Miller, and see if there's a DM from me from a few years ago. And we're going to need you to read it when we come back from break. Okay. Okay. It's now I want to know what's going on. But what I- hey, Joy, I love that British accent. I want to get to know it. 
<laughs> we'll see when we come back. So cheesy, I cannot. And anyway, <laughs> we're just gonna go to break while we all process what just happened. But thankfully, Joy is sticking around to deconstruct some of her fire lyrics in a new segment that I'm super excited about, which is called Bar breakdown so keep it locked right here on fox soul and romeo we need to talk about you and your (laughs) (laughs) we're gonna talk when we come back